Hi guys! This is Desiree of the Succulent Therapy. We are back again with another video. Today, we are going to propagate this Sadong Donkey's Tail right here. This is from my neighbor. She did give it to me and uh, a lot of cactus also. Here is a video of her garden. It's really, really beautiful right there. Okay, so here are the plants that she did give and uh, you can see that they're a little bit long and then I am so so excited when she is cutting this one because I don't have this one yet. Oh, forgive my dirty hands right there because I've been doing some repotting and things like propagation and things like that. So bear with me. <laughs> and then we have our sedum right here sedum donkey tail that's what it's called so i'm really excited to have this one because i have another hanging sedum but it is a sedum burrito and it's kind of a little bit chubbier than this one this one is a little bit pointy and you can see that there are a lot of branches that she did gave uh they're long also so we are going to address that one today and we are going to plant them so we are going to see how we are going to deal with this kind of growth and then you just want to propagate them. We are going to plant it into a dry soil because they are uh, a new cutting. And before we deal with this one, let's talk about this plant right here first. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this one in here for a little bit. This one is a Shrek, really beautiful crassula. We have our pot in here with soil so we're going to plant this cactus right here i don't know what's the idea of this one but oh look at that those flowers right there so beautiful we are just going to i think it uh, yeah nice look at that curve right there uh she said that this plant is around uh, 10 years old already this cactus though I don't know the ID but it's really beautiful when they are a little bit clumped beautiful right there in some cases I do really wear gloves when I'm transplanting cactus because they are kind of thorny and things like that but in this case it doesn't really hurt me as long as you avoid those uh, sharp um, thorns right there it's really okay and so we are go just going to plant this one right here uh, note that this is a dry soil it's really good for them because it will give time for them to produce some roots in the next couple of weeks but cactus uh, really takes time to produce some uh, roots right there so you really want to have some dry soil okay I think they'll be okay with that and the other ones will go through here okay so that's pretty much it for this cactus they're really beautiful on their pot those flowers are really cute okay so let's move on to the next one for this Sadom donkey tail right here, we're going to choose the healthier stem right there and that's the one that we're going to plant and then we're going, we'll go ahead and plant this one also but we're going to cut right here because if we plant it like this, somewhere in here it may broke in there. So we're going to cut it right here where the leaves are. Boom. That one is good, good also. And then cut it here also. Let's just uh, get some leaves right in there. And then cut it where you pluck the leaves so that you may not harm the leaf propagation that you're doing. And so the size is like this. This is okay. So we're going to plant this one. Um, leave it there and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the other leaf right there. So this one we're going to cut right there. 
Uh, the reason that we're doing this is to encourage some growth on this one, on this stem right there. Once you cut the top part, they will produce some babies on that one. So that's what we'll do on this one also. Let's get some leaves right there. Okay, we are done cutting and then potting them to a new soil you can see right there and uh, you can observe that I did cut the stem a little bit shorter for them to have a nice nice roots on this one because if we plant them a little bit longer just as they how they look like a while ago they may end up breaking and then falling off because they don't have healthy roots yet so we end up having this one for us to encourage some new growth growing in this side and then they'll flop out uh, that will be really really beautiful for this spot right there you can see this cactus right there let's just have to wait for another uh, a month i think for them to produce some new roots right there and also some new pop this as this one right here and then i did end up potting this one right here because they really look nice and they have a new new leaf on them and then i did end up having this a lot of leaves right there that had fallen off and that's the thing with sedums, the leaves are easy to kind of fell off and then uh, you just have to deal with that by propagating these leaves, it's okay. Uh, you can grow some small pops right there and they can be a little bit mature in a year or so, just as the just as the sedum burrito that we did propagate, okay? So thank you so much for uh ate who did give this one to me and then i am very thankful for this one they are really really beautiful thank you so much thank you so much also guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye